to prepare effervescent granules we require citric acid 10 g tartaric acid 10 g sodium bicarbonate 25 g and lactose 5 g okay so the first step is to grind all the ingredients so that we have uniform particle size of the all the materials now after grinding pass all the materials through forty mesh sieve so that we can get uniform particle size of the starting materials and all the lumps are broken down after grinding and passing through the forty mesh sieve mix all the powder mixture completely so mix them for at least 10 minutes by this process of trituration all the powder will be mixed completely so do this procedure for at least 10 minutes so after mixing we have to granulate the powder mixture by using 60 percentage alcohol so slowly add alcohol and granulate it. you can see the particles has agglomerated and the granules are being formed we are about to end of the granulation process so this is the end of the granulation so what is the end point of the granulation so how to test the end point of the granulation so you collect the dam pass put in a fist after that you apply the pressure in the middle and if this reacts this means that the granulation process has completed after that we have to pass these granules through the tree mesh sieve post proper now pass the granule through the tree mesh sieve
so these are the granules that has been passed from 20 massive after that we will put these granules in a tray dryer to dry at 60 degree centigrade for half an hour now put the granules at a 60 degree centigrade for half an hour these are the dry granules you can see the consistency of the granules you can see dry granules are there now we will pass these granules through the again 20 mesh sieve now pass the dry granules again through the 20 mesh sieve so that we can get the uniform size of the granules okay. you can see this Now, when you put these granules in the water, effervescence will be started. You can see. Zoom. You can see the effervescence clearly. So, these are the effervescent granules. 